Hey everyone, I'm Pete Considori, WICR President and MassCom Senior. There's great things happening in MassCom. Check out NorthAvenueNation.com for the latest student work. North Avenue Nation covers things happening on and off campus, featuring terrific interviews by MassCom students with Eli Manning, Victor Cruz, Bernie Williams, Rob Astorino, and Nia Vardalos. Also, WICR is now streaming online on Live365.com and Ustream.com. Just search WICR. All right, Brian, take it away. Okay, so we'll start with the news that today in Scotland, they are voting for independence. Say what? Yeah, it's a pretty big story for over in Scotland. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, she's, 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 she's ignoring, she likes to ignore Thanks people. <laughs> I don't like to ignore people. Integrity. That's so, like, hurtful. Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, of the American Revolution. Yeah. That's all I'm thinking about. Honestly, no, because I saw it this morning, and I know that they're doing the votes right now. And the only thing I ke- like cannot stop thinking is that if this was like 300 years ago, it would probably be a bloodbath. Yeah, yeah. like Braveheart. Just Heart. a separate. Yeah, exactly, yes. exactly like Boom. Braveheart. You know, they act- one of the headlines was Braveheart tries to move away. Braveheart oh. country tries to move away from. <laughs> That's England. funny. <laughs> but, you just see like uh, Mel Gibson. What did like- they have? They would have to change their name now, right? Like no, I'm I'm pretty, I think so. Oh no, they just leave the UK, which is like Wales, Scotland, England. So now Northern it would just Ireland. be England and Wales, right? Yeah. Unless yeah. Wales, I guess, comes to their senses and decide, no, I'm done with you too, and just leave. Wales is a small country, right? It's like pretty yeah, small. It's like pretty small. Right so there. wait, yeah. so section. Prince William's title will change now, right? From maybe Prince, right? He's a prince. He's not a king yet. Mm. Prince of England and Wales instead of Scotland and Wales. I don't. I obviously know nothing about European. They probably I don't like know they're change it, Like, hey, stop. But yeah, I was reading a lot of the opinions and, like, uh, the people against uh, independence seem to be like, you know, we're not really that well off leaving the UK because a lot of their money right now comes from offshore drilling for oil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think there's a prediction by like 2050, they're gonna run out of oil up there, like from drilling. So he was saying, like, af- you know, after all that, we have nothing else to fall back so, on for our economy. We'd be ruined. Yeah. And they also kind of, like, uh, a lot of people, like, voting no say it's because they see people voting yes as too optimistic. They think they'll leave and the Euro- they'll have, like, a big seat in the European Union. Yeah. When- also, they basically want recognition separate from England, which is yeah. obvious, but I guess they want Is that one of the main reasons? Like, yeah, a lot be. of people voting yes just really dislike England. Like, uh, the party running yeah. more like independence, kind of like saying England doesn't help us. They're more about helping England in the UK than Scotland. If we break away, we'll only get politicians that want to help Scotland. So almost like okay. the American Revolution, they want yeah. more representation. Boom, boom. All yeah. right, Jay, you Me got my it. History you got knowledge. it. We got a historian over here. <laughs> well, Spring is more the historian. I'm more of a history. Yeah, I'm buff. a huge history dork, big time. Love history. Yes. But I actually don't know much about Scotland, believe it or not. I yeah, think, now that I think about it, I don't know much. I don't either. know. I know actually squat. Like, so maybe it's a good thing that they're going to separate from England, yeah, so we have know their own the history. More, more. Start their new stuff. Imagine they become a new European power. <laughs> <laughs> Scandalous! <laughs> Gasp! Now, what do you really think would happen hmm. with when, Scotland? Yeah, they. I don't. So, think much, I don't so know, much stuff is going on on Eastern in the Middle side. East. Yeah. yeah, and then you have that, and then it's just gonna blow up. It's just yeah. stop. What? Stop, not <laughs> oh. blow up. <laughs> I don't mean <laughs> literally. Just things gonna blow up. I'm like Jay. That's I not think, a joke to make right no, now. No, 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 no. I did. <laughs> poor choice of words. Horrible. I meant horrible. In general, things are just going to start getting active. No, yeah. I know what you mean. Maybe you should have used a different <laughs> I, word. Yeah. All right, this, things are a little sensitive right now. It can't a, be saying things are going to be yeah. blowing up. Think, <laughs> I could just imagine, like, President Obama sitting at his desk, like, doing his work, and a guy runs in, like, Pre- Mr. President, Scotland's got independence. And he just looks up and he's like, I could care less. Aww. And just goes back to work. <laughs> like, uh, that's cute, Scotland. Now, here, go have a cookie. It's like, oh, <laughs> are they going to help us fight ISIS? No? Okay. No. I well, don't care. maybe that'll become one of their responsibilities. Because well, yeah, I think right now it's a world effort. Yeah, because um, yeah. Paris, isn't Paris, um, uh, what's the word? France. France. Uh, oh, they met in Paris. Yeah, Paris is a yeah. city. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah. I think, yes, that's you're right. right. You're right. Oh, my God. You're I right. don't know. No, no, you're <laughs> right. To Paris is a It is a. It's so early. No, no, I meant to say yeah. France, but they met, I think there was like a meeting in Paris about yeah. the ISIS issue. Situation. Why do they always meet in Paris for like Wait, certain people things? People meeting in Paris? Because it's like, you know, maybe it's like in the midway. 
Like, yeah. oh, I don't want to travel all the way to New York. That's a far away place. Then, How about I, we just meet in? What was, what was the treaty they signed back in the day um, in France? Treaty of Versailles? Yes. Yeah, that they, was... They signed it there? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's because they were all, like, There's fighting also in the France. treaty of Paris, just saying. Yeah, that too. <laughs> uh-huh. Versailles is a different place. But Paris is a different we, place. We <laughs> digress, but, you know. We always it, digress. It, we do. But talking so about the world... At- Oh, I'm sorry. Talking about the world's <laughs> effort for ISIS, yeah. I think Brian has more information about Australia this morning. Well, I heard uh, in Australia, a group of men were arrested because they were going to, like, just randomly kidnap someone off the street and behead them in another video, which mm-hmm. has been, like, so, I guess their motif, their MO, yeah. uh, just beheading yeah, they people. See, I, I mean, not like to a, make a joke out of it, but what is their fascination with decapitation? Yeah, I feel like this is Is like that supposed to be, like, their signature almost? I think it's supposed to be like because uh, I mean yeah. it's working, if, if, not to make a joke out of it, but seriously. No, no, I, no, I get what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, I get it. I don't know. Maybe they're just trying to show like, oh, look at the power we have. We're just taking random people, killing them, and you're not going to do anything. Or it's like a message, like, oh yeah, uh, maybe it's like a WWE type promo, like America, we're coming for you. Yeah, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I don't, I don't know who's the wrestler that says like that. I don't know uh, anything about WWE either way. I, it's been a while, but yeah. it kind of runs. The fact is that like, it's over it's, in Australia, because yeah. usually when I associate terrorism, I feel like everything is usually anti-American, and just to see a a terrorist group to be targeting like UK, to be targeting Australia, yeah. to be targeting every, and not it, it would it be independent because Australia has a constitution, right? So I guess it's any kind yeah. of constitutional yeah. country that I guess is free. I guess so. We're, Democracy, maybe. Yeah, yeah we demo- we no, 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 maybe no, no. Just but, like, <laughs> but no, no, because <laughs> that is, that is that is right though. Because I know uh, I had read, not read. I'm too lazy to read at night. I saw a video on ABC that this <laughs> man from Rochester was actually paying people to join ISIS. Like I think he paid up to a thousand or two thousand dollars for one person to join ISIS. Oh, He's right, from Rochester, yeah, New York, just to show you how in close. Ooh, I needed a breath there to show how in close proximity it is to us. And then there's also there was also another plot. Well, they say there might have been a plot to do a bomb in Times Square. That was another. That thing. yes, really? I heard about. Did you tell me that? I, I think you told I don't me know. that. I'm Someone told me that. I, I need to. I've been more worldly, more. guys. I've been actually reading the news because now I'm getting really paranoid. Because yeah. spring has irrational fears, and I don't need more irrational. It's gonna fears. affect us. Anyway. Another irrational fear, ISIS. It's I know, and her. sometimes I really hate living in New York because I feel like New York, like not to be sarcastic, uh-huh. but if I was a terrorist, I would target New York. No, New York is minute. always the first. I want to move to Idaho, up. like as fast as I can. I do I not want to live in New York anymore. I'm no so one, tired no of being like targeted. I think the two places: Washington D.C. and New York. I'd go to yeah. least, like Portland so that. Honestly, I no, I'm not going to discuss this on the radio. I don't want to yeah. discuss my strategies if I was doing this. <laughs> They'd find you first. Either way, uh, I know the raid for Australia had to be one of the largest. I think they had 800 federal and state police officers mm, just yeah, looking I'm for these that guys. Up on yeah. your laptop huh? right now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he just blew up my spot. Oh, I just blew up my spot. Ah, no, Trying no to more act like, oh yeah, I memorize all this information. Memorize. Your I don't. You know what? Right no, I don't memorize you all this information. You could have at least tried to make because it I fumble over words smaller. that I speak regularly. Like I can't formulate a sentence without fumbling. F- see, you see, it just happened right now. I can't like. <laughs> I'm like fumble clean. I have so many flubs. Year. Oh god, my flubs from last year were ridiculous. I don't know, Brian. You have any more about Australia? No, but I know like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't keep up with Australian no. news. Yeah, but, but, no, kind of to be fair, it was, it was extremely recent because it did yeah, it happen. I know, like, Al Qaeda spoke out against ISIS. Really? Because they, oh. they were saying the last guy in the beheading video, they were like, he was just there to help, uh, you know, innocent Muslims. He didn't really deserve to die. So yeah. even Al Qaeda. Wow, look saying, at Al Qaeda yeah, saying. Even innocent. they're saying they're that. going too far. And that's like, you know how messed up ISIS is, is when you have Al Qaeda as the moral compass. Which, you know, what's yeah. crazy because ISIS actually like came out of al-qaeda yeah. so i guess they're like the father and they're like okay we can't control of our son anymore like this is a crazy like an extremist group over here yes. yeah they are an extremist an extremist like extremist group. ridiculous and if you think about it if we had just like gone back in time to around let me see she's going out here yeah the, histori- who's the historian the historian if we go back to maybe the 1980s i would 1960- say that 1960 to 1980s all of this could have been prevented for the most part if we just yeah. didn't think of our own interests and thought about the people who were living there because that's what it's all stemming out of when you think about it like Mm. all these things that are coming out now are stuff that we did years ago and now we're just like oh what do we do about past mistakes like now we're trying to clean up our own mess and they're retaliating like retaliating Retaliating. sorry (laughs) either way i 
I hate war. It's the worst. I really do. That's Speaking all I Speaking of retaliations, a... <laughs> Brian just swooped in. Yeah, I'm trying to move this conversation <laughs> along. A company out in California is fighting against Yelp, the review what? site, because they were saying, uh, you know, it was just passed, I think, last week, mm-hmm. that it's legal for Yelp to say, like, oh, yeah, if you don't give us money, we're going to give you bad reviews. What? Yelp? So, yeah. The site where, like, you write restaurant reviews. You know about that. So, I actually don't go on restaurant reviews. I'm the crazy person that just takes yeah. a chance. Yeah, I don't really trust Yelp after hearing that. Is and also, something? Yelp sounds fun. Is it, is it supposed to be like, like you know, when you go, Yelp! Yeah. Is that that's what it's supposed to be? It's spelled like that. It's, yeah. Because it's supposed to be like a help thing, right? Yeah. Okay. So, if you help, Yelp. I don't know anything about the internet. So, this restaurant was saying, like, they were advertisers for a while and while yeah. they were that their reviews were higher they s- said oh we don't have the money to advertise we're just going to stop and as soon as they did all the reviews went down wow so they start just start telling all their customers like oh yeah if you like us uh just give us one star reviews we want to be the worst restaurant on the site and so mm-hmm. now everyone's writing giving one stars but writing funny reviews like that I sounds hate- so fun this is from california yeah mm-hmm. i yeah. was to say you are the worst <laughs> give them half a star <laughs> <laughs> that is really funny, though. I like that. Yeah. But I'm kind of kind of hungry, so I think I'm gonna go to a break, listen to Pete Contadori one more time, and then we'll see what we talk about when we come back. Yeah. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Gregory Casimis from the Metro Deli in Scarsdale. The Metro Deli has been part of the Westchester community for over ten years. We always use the freshest and highest quality ingredients for all our dishes and catering events. Our breakfast features bagels with freshly sliced nova. Don't miss out our thick challah French toast. For lunch, grab a booth and enjoy one of our oversized salads or our freshly cut hot deli sandwiches. We're open seven days a week where the coffee is always hot and freshly brewed. Of the class. My name is for one second. My name is 